today I'm excited to show you my Ripsalis pilocarpa. I looked it up and that's what it seems to be. And another name for this is the mistletoe cactus. This one has little spines. I'm trying to get in so you can see it. But it is an epiphytic cactus. And an epiphyte is a plant which grows on another plant. So this one in nature grows natively in the understory of rainforests. So, um, and those, and usually in Brazil. So that's where it's naturally found. And I found that the best way to take care of any plant is to see how it grows natively and mimic those conditions. So this little guy needs filtered sunlight. Um, it's not like other cacti, which need, you know, bright full sun, but this one will burn in the sun. So you have to be a little bit careful. It does prefer to be moist, but not soggy. And you don't want to overwater this guy, but um, it does like more water than some of the other cacti. Um, and then as far as minimum temperatures, it should be at least 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Remember, it's from the rainforest. And you only need to do fertilizer once a year in the spring. Um, and because of all these specific needs, it's best to keep this one indoors. You don't want it to be too hot. You don't want it to get too much sun. So it's important to find the right spot for this little indoor plant unless you live in a zone that has similar conditions. So this one can be propagated from seeds. Uh, it has little flowers that come at the end of the little pencil-like segments. And um, if they're pollinated, they will make flowers and seeds. And you can grow it from seed, but you can also take stem cuttings. So it'll be interesting to see if I can do that. This little guy is tiny, so I think it's gonna be quite some time before I try that. But um, the little white flowers uh, can be, well, actually they can be white or pale pink, but they're small little ones and uh, they do come out at the end of the little segments. Um, and the only information that I was able to find that conflicts is whether or not to water this little guy in the winter. I'm leaning towards lightly watering, but if someone knows something differently and I should suspend water in the winter, please let me know because I really like this little guy and I want to keep him alive. But that's about it on the Ripsalis pilocarpa. I think it's a charming little plant and sadly it's has a threatened status in the wild because humans are decimating the rainforests. So it would be great if hobbyists could keep this one alive, but, and I'm gonna do my best, but I just thought it was a really cute little plant. So thanks for joining me guys, and I'll see you next time.